10 gigabit cabling, why use 10 GB cabling in your business? What cabling do I need for 10 gigabits Ethernet? Which standard? Many business owners overlook the critical importance of the IT infrastructure that their company runs on. Furthermore the demands for bandwidth continue to rise as video and multimedia become more essential and these systems will play an even greater role. Things like phone systems, consistent cleaning of the offices, and proper recruiting of new workers are all essential in their own way. However, before you can have any of that, you need to have cabling infrastructure that is capable of handling the needs of your business. You can visualize cabling as the roads that your data must travel on. Generally everyone knows that a poor road network slows down traffic and causes damage to the cars over time. You should be applying the same thought process to how you manage your office cabling. Getting high quality cabling that is up to the industry standard is the best way to ensure your cabling solutions are going to deliver for your technology. Cabling evolution in the industry. It used to be that one gigabit cabling was considered to be plenty for businesses, but with the growing consumption of bandwidth, 10 gigabits cabling has emerged as the basic requirement for businesses everywhere. Connecting servers and storage to switches using 10 gigabits Ethernet cables is quickly becoming the standard for businesses. These solutions are built using either copper or fiber cabling and often run through a networking device, example, a switch or network interface controller. Adoption of the 10 gigabit standard has been slower than with previous standards for Ethernet, and this has largely been due to price issues, but this is continuing to improve over time. CAT6 cabling and beyond. Originally, for structured cabling in the modern office, CAT5e cables were often used to support networks with requirements up to 1 gigabit. However, these cables are not up to standard for 10 gigabits networks. The use of copper cabling for 10 gigabits Ethernet solutions is becoming more widespread, with the most popular solution being CAT6A cabling and moving into the CAT7 and CAT8 spectrum. CAT6 cabling is only recommended for 10G cabling when it is already in place and less than 55 meters from the cabinet to the outlet. Even then the performance cannot be certified to work as it should for 10 gig transmission. CAT6A 10 gigabits cabling comes with many benefits including backward compatible, and may be paired with devices, created for slower cables. Can support distances, up to 90 meters with patch leads and 100 meters direct links. Generally cheaper than many of the other solutions. Other cables that have 10 gigabits cabling capabilities. CAT6, although not recommended legacy, CAT6 can transmit 10G up to 55 meters. CAT7 and CAT8, natural evolutions of CAT6A cabling. CX4, the first 10 gigabits Ethernet copper standard, but comes with the disadvantage of a form factor that is too large. SFP plus direct attach, often used to connect servers and storage devices in a rack because of its low cost. Multi-mode MMF, fiber cabling solution that covers up to 550 meters. Single mode SMF, currently the industry standard and has the highest range. Structured cabling distance limitations. The following table shows the distance limitations for 10 gigabit Ethernet. Getting in the right mindset. Cabling is not typically something that should be done in-house by the end client or by the technology partners supplying the phone systems, VoIP, computer networks or Wi-Fi. Furthermore, poorly installed initial data cabling not only affects the current performance of your network, but any errors you make now may negatively affect any attempts to scale you make in the future. Constant investment and the proper mindset around it is the best way to always be pushing your company ahead. In addition to having a well-planned and strongly organized cable strategy is a crucial part of the IT infrastructure of your company and you would be best recommended not to overlook it. How much does 10 gig data cabling cost? The costs will depend on several factors for the installation of the structured cabling. In addition elements such as false floor, false ceilings and existing containment will make the installation easier and more cost effective. If these elements are not in place, then the cost will increase to provide these elements on top of the cabling infrastructure. As an outline, for 24 outlets and above, a CAT6A structured cabling system in a false floor or ceiling environment in a standard office will cost approximately £55 to £70 per point. What elements will increase the cost of the 10 gig structured cabling? The following elements will incur additional costs to the initial cabling installation. 
requirement to install additional containment, or floor boxes, approximately, £10 to £15 per point. Installation of new cabinets, depending on size, approximately, £5 to £7 per point. Out of hours working, £8 to £10 per point. In some cases, working out of hours, results in the same cost or reduced cost, as it allows for quicker installation due to the absence of employees in the area. We offer free surveys, and during these surveys, we will be able to discuss those requirements, and offer you the best solution. For a free quotation, please visit our website, nmcabling.co.uk, or call at 01923888588.